Okay, before this podcast starts, I cannot believe, it sounds like I'm making an apology video, I cannot fucking believe that I'm having to do this on my own podcast in front of my friends, for one thing, but most importantly, people watching this for maybe the first time and having to hear me say this right now. So as you all know, I've recently gone through a breakup and that is a sad time for everyone involved, as well as people who are friends with, right? Breakups are never easy for anyone, me or the person who was in it. However, breakups and relationships have to, and always will have to, stay at the business of the people who are involved in it and stay the fuck away from those who aren't, right? Now, the reason I'm saying this now is because recently a rumor, rumor has come around, which I won't lie about. I'm not scared to own up to shit, right? But around the area of me being unfaithful, me cheating, right? Now, for people that know me, they would know for a fact that I would never, ever, ever go there again in a million years of my fucking life. I've been there once and it ruined my life. I lost everything and everyone because of my idiotic actions. But even worse, the person who was involved got so hurt and they did not deserve that in any way whatsoever. Now, I have lived with that guilt for three years it's coming up to now. Three fucking years. I have hypnotherapy once a week for that. I have counselling and mentoring once a week to deal with it as well. I cry myself to sleep most nights during those three years because of the guilt what I face for my own actions. So if you ever think for a second that you can dare make a room up about black like me, if you ever think you can do that, you stay the fuck away from me, you stay the fuck away from my friends, and you stay the fuck away from my business. You are immature, disrespectful, and most importantly, you need to get a fucking life. I cannot believe I'm having to say this on my own podcast just to get my side out there in case anything arises from it. I loved my partner, I did everything I could for my partner, and whoever made this rumour up, I'm pretty sure I know who it is, stay the fuck away from me for the rest of my life. I want nothing to do with you anymore, and I want nothing to do with this ever again. I'm sorry for those who are watching this for the first time. Enjoy this little bit of drama, because it doesn't come from me very often, but fuck off, get on with your own fucking life, and most importantly, enjoy the podcast. I know you'll be watching. Hey there everyone and welcome back to the Pull One Out podcast, the number two podcast in the world. Do you get it? Because the acronym's poop. <laughs> I was thinking about that for a long time. I am joined once again by the wonderful, fantastic Sam Briggs. Hey! And Stephen Davison. Yay! <laughs> I'm, such a good, I'm such a prick to Stephen. I love you really, Stephen. I do, man. I'm sorry. I'll just That's put that out there now. I do, I do appreciate you a lot. I'm just a cunt. That's two weeks so, in a row. So two weeks in a row you've mugged him off. <laughs> Today, boys, this is, this is a special one, isn't it? This is a very, very, very special episode. Very special. And the first time for us on the Poor One Out podcast. First time having a guest. Today. Yeah, okay. Yeah. No, <laughs> Stephen went right in there. Stephen went... Right in there. Stephen, to see was like, cut the shit, Matt, get to it. Yes, <laughs> it's the first day. This is our first ever guest on the Pour One Out podcast. Now, we spent a few weeks thinking of people. People have messaged us to be on the podcast, but there's one person who is so involved in this podcast, yet they've never been on it. You've probably been involved in it more than anyone. <laughs> so today we are joined by my best friend, my one and only fucking housemate, roommate, everything, apart from Jacob, <laughs> George King. <laughs> Woo! Hello. Woo! Right, yo. We've got many questions to ask you and many things that we need to expose Matt on for lying about. What's your, yeah. <laughs> What's your body count? <laughs> Jesus I'm Christ. You haven't got that long, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's an entire episode. Yeah, so. <laughs> yep, yep, part two. <laughs> right, um, so <clears throat> Matt, George, obviously you know each other for however Perfect. long. Um, a me, long me, fucking time. Yeah. Too fucking long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Stephen's already hit the gong, so yeah. we're going to already have to drink. Welcome, uh, I, I welcome to even... the shot gong, George. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, welcome. This is your first ever shot. Um, well, this gong has been waiting for George King. <laughs> <laughs> he's, been, he's been trembling in fear of George King. Yeah. <laughs> we I'm, all have. I'm George King could mate. probably last longer than all of us. And not, and just, not just drinking. I think after this episode, you're going to have to... <laughs> 
I think after this episode, Stephen, you're gonna have to order a new gunk. You might break this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you had, but yeah, well, you shot in today. Sorry. Oh, I'm on sours again. Do you, yeah. When do you guys do yours? Your shots? Oh, just straight when, whenever we're talking, mate. So uh, you can you can just do your shot whenever. And I'll just. George, I'll, is, yeah. George is already pouring his third one. <laughs> the second I heard the gong, mate, it was down. Yeah, fair play. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, you, you do it whenever. We didn't really explain this to you. We should have done. <laughs> do it whenever. I just find it in the edit and then I'll sort it out for you. Um, but yeah, like I said, you guys have known each other for goodness knows how long now. Me and Stephen have only known you relatively, relatively recently, George. So our first question is going to be, who are you? <laughs> you know, a big question. Who big are question. I? Um, yeah. So it says, you know, who is George? And we'd like to know. Who is George? Everything. Quite similar to Matt, to be fair. Um, born, raised, same place. Known him for years and years. Same school. Um, moved to Manchester to work. But it's quite a quite a boring story. <laughs> We're going to say no, he's the only. Yeah, there's, there's lots of blanks <laughs> in between. Yeah, that there's like, <laughs> lots of little bits we can come back next week. Uh, the next dive into. There's <laughs> <laughs> bits we can dive into, but who am I? Well, I'm um, sure we'll dive into those further on into the uh, summer, episode. Summer, I'll probably anyway. just uh, a twenty year old, twenty one year old child still. Living day by day, trying to have a bit of fun. Oh, we know why oh, aren't we all children like on the inside. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's a good way to put it. To be fair, <laughs> I, I, Matt, oh, I don't dear. think I don't think you got what I was getting at there. <laughs> yeah, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen, yes, I, I did, I did. Stephen. Oh, okay, that's all right. Yeah. I, did, I did. I didn't expect you to put the joke on me. <laughs> You just openly <laughs> admitted it. That's fine. We'll, we'll you know, we'll, we, yeah. we'll run with oh, that. Oh, for fuck's sake, no! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I've had one shot. Leave me alone. <laughs> Matt's already right. pissed. <laughs> More scandals about a YouTuber. <laughs> what are we going to do? Well, Jesus Christ. Oh, jeez. Well, yeah. Anyway, right, so, um, so how about we talk a little bit about how you and Matt actually know each other and how you first sort of crossed paths and became mates? Super. So... Um, we actually first met when we were six years old. I mean, to be sorry, um, just just to interrupt there, I think I'm going to have to class that as a cop, as a topic change. Yeah. This is this is yeah, something George. Right. Come on now. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry. First of many, my <laughs> but just say, I think I think I found a, very, a new top five album of me. It's it's oh. Uh, is it's it awesome. nice that one? What Epic. what was it again that you were having? It's JJ Whitley, Watermelon oh, and Lime Russian Vodka. Yes. And the shot is quite smooth and it tastes nice. I wish I could very say nice, very nice. I wish I could say the same for my I've got I've got J and J Whitley, whatever the fuck it is, but, I, but mine's just straight <laughs> vodka and it's it's not smooth. <laughs> Stephen, you you're missing it. You should be going Maybe for the Aldi vodka, Steven. mate. Trust that me, is Aldi a, that vodka. is a possibility. <laughs> Maybe you just can't handle the smoke. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yo, me already. already. <laughs> George is competing for the seat on the podcast permanently. Yeah. Oh my god, class. I, class. Didn't, I, didn't, yeah, let's... So, I didn't expect to be de detecting sexual tension just four minutes into the episode, to be honest. But... <laughs> <laughs> so, George, me, me and you, we met when we were what? What did you say? Six? Six, um, yeah, six. Um, at Little Holiday, like Caravan Park, that um, my, my nan, like, I'm not, she owns like a little. Caravan down there. So um, we just went there one day, and then Matt's family went down there camping or whatever. Just typical British half term holiday type thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. They have a, little, a swimming pool. <coughs> and um, yeah, um, my mum knew your mum somehow. Still in there. We'll have to get them on for that episode. <laughs> fuck, fuck knows that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the and mums then, on. Yeah, we'll get um, the mums on for an episode. <laughs> and then, yeah, that's how we met. That's the only time we met. And then fast forward whew, till we were to like twelve. Year seven. Yeah, we were that twelve years old, like five, six yeah. years. And then you were there. You was like, oh, I've got no friends, whatever. <laughs> <He's, then>, uh, <laughs> it's not then, even a dig. It's true. And, he and he still is. I, like I was like, I was <laughs> like, I reckon. I was like, I recognise you. I, I know you. And then your mum, your mum told us. And then, yeah, the rest, as they say, is history. That's kind I of find like, it crazy how it, it was in the middle of Wales as well. It wasn't even like our local swimming pool. Like the middle of Wales, we bumped into a family who was from the same like town as me. Yeah. And then all these years later, we saw each other again and we're like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's like it's like a meant to be sort of friendship then, I guess. 
Like a, like I a think so, yeah. rom com, mate. <laughs> yeah, honestly, like I feel like I feel like I'm listening to a TV's like script right now. That's quite that's quite cool, actually. Sorry, so like, from across a crowded room. There we are. Across a crowded swimming pool. <laughs> a <crowded laughs> I did breaststroke, Matt did backstroke, and we met. <laughs> and it was love at first sight. <laughs> what about? And you were destined to stroke. Be- you were destined to stroke breasts together. <laughs> oh Jesus. <laughs> No, okay. no, I'll give you that one. That's funny. Yeah, no, that's yeah, funny. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, man. I'm retiring on that. <laughs> I'm taking. I'm taking a week off for that one. <laughs> that was just. Yeah, yeah so you have. You have a nice deserved. Yeah. Week Stephen. Stephen, Stephen deserves a raise. Yeah, yeah, Stephen, you're gonna get that. Uh, you're gonna get a million times more paid. You know, zero pound, zero pence, up to zero pound, zero pence. Fantastic raise. Brilliant. <laughs> right, so Matt, we, you were about to we say to, something then. So we yeah. went to school life for a bit then. Obviously, me and George went to yeah. the same school. We were, we were friends, but we did have our own sort of like groups and that sort of thing as well. What what would you say school was like for you, George? How would you describe? Um, it was. Oh the fucking. Uh, oh for fuck's <laughs> <laughs> I lo- what, I love is, um, what I love is when people change the topic and then get surprised by hearing the shotgun. <laughs> yeah, I listen, I listen to the podcast in my car and I play a little game when I listen to the podcast. I, I, I say shotgun before Stephen hits the gong to see if I can beat him. And then Sam's, always, Sam's always like, oh, I got the fucking shotgun. And I'm thinking, they must know it's coming. They must just, <laughs> no, they must I generally do forget. We've all got to do our dance. dance. We've all got to do our dance. It's just, it's... Maybe it's because me and, me and Stephen are so involved in the shots. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> right. That's true, actually. You guys were born for this podcast. Yeah, me and Matt are just oh, the bystanders. I'm, I, I'm, 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 I'm missing tequila. But yeah, school, school's alright. Um, to be fair, um, it's I think I had the typical high school experience. Um, met a lot of people. Some people were kind of sound. Some people weren't kind of sound. And that's about it, really. Um, I was a bit of a. I was. A, well, I was quite a like smart cut to think, but I was a little bit naughty from time to time. Oh, I think most people, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think it was only probably like, I'm guessing people like me and Sam were probably massive fucking nerds. Yeah. Whereas like, everyone uh, else yeah. did have a bit of fun in school, were a bit, you know, uh, a bit of a uh, at the time. Uh, all right, still worth all right. Well, see, oh, me and Sam know about this. Of course, right. we, I'm sorry, but me and Sam do look like nerds. <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah, no, nah, I'm, I'm not gonna mm. lie to you. Never got in trouble, me. <laughs> the only difference between me and Sam is Sam's body count's fucking through the roof. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, hold on, mate! Don't expose me so, like this, man. I, I, I only told the podcast it's like two or three. Is it Sam? No. Yeah, so, no, Sam. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> <laughs> it is compared to mine. What do you mean? <laughs> so, oh no, yeah, no, absolutely. Sam, so, so, honestly, go around to Sam's mum's house, and it's just wall to wall funny. Like Jesus Christ! <laughs> you can't. No, that's you, just because she's got wallpaper. You can't literally. You you walk you walk in the room and you feel wet because of how many girls have been in there. Sorry, so it's just where, like, where's the address? Sam, where did your mum live? Um, I just yeah, actually, yeah, I'll note it down for you. I can still drive. <laughs> yeah, I'll note it down for you, mate. Don't worry. <laughs> Jesus Christ! No, I mean yeah, like you said, Mark. Me and you were like good. Well, to an extent, goody goody two shoes in school. So. Yeah, yeah. I feel is, like, is, is school something you'd do again if you could? <clears throat> would you Would you go back? Um, I think I'd, I'd go back, but I'd have a bit, probably a different attitude with it. What What What, what do you mean? Well, um, in school, I just kind of like did like the work and stuff, and then just messed around. But um, yeah. Whereas now I'm a bit more, you know, when it comes to work, I'm a bit more like. A bit more switched on, on. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I also have a bit more of a don't really give a fuck attitude, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. I, yes, I, I, can can, I can confirm that. I do not <laughs> care about most things. So, regardless of like hanging out with people and stuff, I, I, I think um, I would either hang out with different people or the same people, and they'll just like kind of be like. As it is, high school. yeah, bit bit more up in the hierarchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah I like that. That's quite good, in, actually, to be fair. In um, high school, kind of like everyone's a bit like there's there's certainly a hierarchy, which is really stupid. But when you're there, you kind of see it. So everyone yeah, kind you of can, wants yeah. to climb the ladder a little bit. And I was certainly one of those ladder climbers. I was like, well, I want to. So basically, right, small YouTubers okay. trying to become big. 
<laughs> yeah. What? I've been following Matt around for all these years, waiting, <laughs> waiting for him. Just waiting for the old grease. Fucking get minted. <laughs> You've been waiting oh, a while. That's the real reason then. Yeah. <laughs> You're not wrong. Do you um, have do you have like one school memory that like sticks out to you more than anything? Like, what's the first like funny thing that comes to your head about school? Do you know what? So, I was. <laughs> this one's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we want. That's um, what we want. We need a title. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not it's not the mince meat, is it? Ah, oh, that's even worse. <laughs> no, no, um, you can't. You can't. Oh no, we need right, this. Then. We need this now. We need mince meat. <laughs> I'll give you a few. So the one I was thinking of is when I hit a not disabled, but what? What? not very. <laughs> what? Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Hold on a minute. I think she had. I think she was a bit like. <sighs> I hit her with a water bowl. No, yeah. Oh, Matt. Oh, Matt. You know what I'm like. How would you describe it? like not like. There's nothing wrong with it. She was, Don't she was smart and everything. <laughs> but, um, so I was playing American football with one of my friends in the common room and he passed me the water bottle and I pinged it. And he's quite a short guy. So he jumped up and didn't catch it. And you know, in like a film where it's like a slow motion type thing. I saw <laughs> when they throw the frisbee. I, mate, yeah, I swear. I saw her walking. I saw the water bottle just perfect spiraling. I was like, oh, fuck. I'm going to get her. <laughs> Yeah, the music teacher saw and he tried to give me a week of lunchtime detention. But, <laughs> but I chose my mentor to be the headmaster and I was quite good friends with him. And when he, I tried in an accident, he only gave me one day. So, he was, that's not too that was smart, actually. He, he was that's quite smart gullible. I never thought of that. Yeah. Uh, but the mince meat thing, yeah. So, this one's, this one's terrible. This is this, awful. This, awful. Oh, this one. <laughs> um, <laughs> I used to do some mean things in school, which I found quite funny. Um, <laughs> like one, one, yeah. one, you know. <laughs> that was one girl who, um, I, when I was like chatting to her, we got on really well, but um, she, I think she was a bit of an easy target, and I wouldn't do this again, because it is quite, it was really mean. But um, for instance, the type of things I'd do, um, she cried at a film, and I got up and announced it to the whole year. Um, that, but I um, was in cookery classes one time, oh, no. and she had, <laughs> she what she's got a fuck she, she she's gonna know who I'm on about because she's the only vegan in the year. <laughs> she is um, a vegan, right? Okay. Um, big respect, to the, big respect to all the fellow vegans out there. And she we was cooking something. Yeah, George is vegan uh, now. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm vegan. I'm vegan now, so <laughs> I can't I can't get cancelled for this, right? Oh yeah, yeah. We're, I'm we're, one of we're you. all vegan. We're all vegan as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're all yeah, vegan. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so um. She, we, I think it was something like a shepherd's pie or something like that. So, and she was doing it at the vegan version, so she was using corn. And she had veg stock cube. When she wasn't looking, I snuck over. No, no, no. I put beef, no, stock. No. <laughs> I put beef stock in her food. <laughs> oh my god, no. Did she, did she end up finding out? Uh, I, she uh, fucking knows now. <laughs> <laughs> I Does she know? Does she might? Oh, if you're, I'm so, honestly, I'm so sorry. So now you're I'm, now I'm you're a vegan. Full. You understand. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, maybe, I'm also vegan now. Maybe, maybe we um, should I'm just the... maybe we should just do an episode with George where it's just him apologising for all the awful things he's done to women. <laughs> <laughs> like George yeah. said, there isn't enough time. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, see, I I look about at that and, and I keep laughing because I think it's quite funny, but um, it is quite bad. So. I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> should, we, should we move on to the next, the next bit we had, the expectations versus reality? Yeah, we should. Yeah. Which, sound, which sounds, which sounds very 2010 YouTube. Oh, is this, yeah, yeah, is this yeah. like a another shot? Or... Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, I love, George's I like, love, I love, I love the that George is fully in bed with the with the co with the concept of the show. Just like, yeah, all right. He's been you, waiting. You've mentioned something slightly different. That's a new topic. Come on, shot. <laughs> Yeah, so me and year six, me and year seven versus me and year eight. Well, that's another shot. <laughs> <laughs> when I came up with this topic, like I can't remember exactly what I said. You guys probably remember, but I think it was to do with like when you sort of left school and went to college, for example. Yeah, yeah. Like, what, what, did you yeah. expect? Did you expect to go sort of like down the path you did? Uh, did you sort of expect to be where you are? I'm not gonna say don't say now because I don't want to fast forward it too much. But like, did you get like the experience you you wanted to get? At let's school, say, let's say in college. Yeah. I'm gonna say the or, let's let's say the end of high school compared to the end of college. So, Maybe. I when I went to college, I wanted to go to a different one than I actually ended up going to. You were saying that to be fair. Yeah. And I was like, I don't want to go there because I've heard it's not very really good. This that, and the other. Just like 
normal kid stuff like, oh, I want to <laughs> go here. You know, you 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 see that, and that's what the, you see a place you want to go. That's the only place you want to go, and every other place you'll have a bad life. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, did, I ended up going to the same same college as Matt in Ludlow. Um, I can say where it is because we don't know yeah. anymore. So um, I ended up going there, and I was like, ah, oh, what I was meant to do. Well, my first original dream was to be a marine biologist because I'm obsessed with sharks. Oh, okay. Yeah. So um, you're um, you're obsessed with fish supper. <laughs> yeah, that's the one, mate. That's the one. <laughs> I've I've kept that dream really close. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah. So I was like, okay. Um, I I had a child and I was like, so you got you got the grades in science. Um, you slightly off in maths. You can retake maths and do it. I was like, sweet. And then spoke with mum and I was like, uh, do I really want to do maths again? I was like, fuck that. <laughs> so I went in there and I said, I so said, you gave you know up what, on the to... job you you gave up on the job you wanted because you couldn't be asked redoing Pythagoras' theorem. <laughs> yeah, well, it wasn't was wank, mate. Math it wasn't was wank. The job I wanted, I just liked sharks and I wanted to work. <laughs> yeah, it was literally it. <laughs> I mean, I, I listen. I can get it. I can. The job I'm doing now, I can make you know very good money and then go out and dive with them. So I basically, live the <laughs> fair enough. But um, yeah. yeah, so I was like, ah, oh, I was like, I don't. I was like, it'll take me another year to do it. I was like, nah, fuck that. I was like, right, I, I'm interested in media and stuff. So I was like, right, I'd pick three nice cushy levels. I picked media, graphics, and photography, and, photography, and film studies. That's um, your film, yeah. yeah that's my fa- favourite one. Then later that night, I was just like, I spoke to, well, a few days later, so it's, you went, didn't you, Matt? You went <laughs> to do a thing. And I rang you, I was like, oh, so you're still going to this college? You go, no, I'm going to love that. I was like, oh, mate, what are you doing? He goes, Oh, I'm doing uh, photography, graphics, media, and film studies. I was like, you taking the piss? He goes, no. I was like, I'm doing all four as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Fucking hell. Nah. See how life just keeps like bringing us together yeah. for some fucking unknown reason. I reckon we're, we're yet to do great things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for so, sure. Yeah. So after Marie Boyd went down, I was like, Ryan, I'll just piss around doing film studies. And um, to where I say piss around, I mean, a week before our A-levels exam, me and Matt went on a lad's holiday. Yeah, <laughs> I've thought of a brilliant story I'll tell later on that as well. Um, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right now. Jordan's like, yeah. it's time for revenge. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, so we did that, and we, we both passed, um, and then none of us went to uni. Yeah, and I had a part time job um, as like a, a chef assistant. In the cat, you know, Matt said he works in a cafe. Yeah. Well, before he worked there, I actually worked there. Oh, okay. Once again, we were. I think. I think we've all been to the same place today. <laughs> before Matt worked there, I worked there, and then uh, they offered me an apprenticeship Ooh. next door at the at the hotel, which was a bit more posh, better food. So I was like, yeah, fuck, I'll take a year out of uni. I'll yeah. Go. Cause I still got into some unis, going to Salford and Bournemouth and London. Yeah. Um. So I left college on the Friday, and half past ten on the Saturday, I rolled in for my first shift. <laughs> and How did yeah, it go? I did it go well? well? Would you say it went well? Um, I can't remember. <laughs> that, long, uh, really that long, that um, long, <laughs> made it sound a bit ominous. Was this? Was that the time when you remember when you did your trial shift at the place beforehand, and like me and George went on like a really, really heavy night oh, out no. the night before we were like fucking seventeen or some shit. Like oh. I, it was an awful, awful night out. <laughs> and then the next day, George, George told me that he was molding fish cakes <laughs> and still no. like stumbling. <laughs> no, no. Um, so me and you went to our friend's pub, didn't we? That was before yeah. my first day at the part-time chef job. But, um, that was it. Yeah, but then I worked at the hotel for a year, and then, yeah, moved to moved to Manchester. Fair enough. It sounds like your life's quite drastically changed in like a short period of time there. Then. Yeah, I just keep running away. Um, <laughs> keep running away from the yeah, responsibility. I was born of my village. I moved Ludlow. I moved to Ludlow, and then I met a girlfriend. Um, was with her for a year, almost a year. She was in Birmingham, and I broke up with her. I was like, Ryan, let's get this fucking nest run away. Fair uh, enough, fair. Manchester. Fair, fair enough. And, and here we are. I was going to say, speak, speaking of uh, girlfriends and things... I well, guess that's we could... the thing. We, we're going we're gonna to introduce now a segment we'd like to call Tender Advice with George. Hey! Oh, and sadly, on we that should note, make a ju- um, we should, If we had time, we'd make a jingle yeah. for that. Make yeah. it a <laughs> But in that case... I could probably... 
Jesus. I could probably do this in every vlog, you know. <laughs> Tinder advice with George. <laughs> George is there, so like, a common mistake, I see virgin ladies. <laughs> <laughs> they don't tell the girl that you're coming over tonight. Whereas what I do is, I just say, send me a postcode, I'm on my way. Yeah. <laughs> Tinder yeah, spread him, I'll be there in half an hour. Yeah. <laughs> spread <laughs> no, Jesus My Christ. Tinder advice, hey. Um, I mean, I'm not very good at Tinder, so... Yeah, but you've, you've, Are you sure you've definitely that? got. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I, can you be good at Tinder? I, I think. Yeah. I mean, you can. You can be George TG, but yeah. Jesus. I think you're pretty good. I mean, um, you, you can. Like, like, not, let's let's be hard. honest here. Let's be honest here. You've got a higher body count than me, Stephen, and Mark put together. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it's whether um, the bodies are worth it. Ah well. I mean, I mean, <laughs> some of them are Stephen. So. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you know, to win the FA Cup, you got to beat Liverpool, but you've also got to play against Luton Town. Do you know what I mean? Very true. <laughs> so, you know, I've, I've had... I've had such a sick reference. ...different women, some really good looking, some... Not, not very good looking. And, and <laughs> that's the way. That's the way. But, um, my team advice. Well, I just kind of just literally blind swipe. Just, I'll be like doing something and just tapping it. So I'm like, having a wank and swiping right on Tinder. <laughs> yeah. So can we like, from somebody yeah, like I've yeah. I've used Tinder in the past, right? And I'll swipe right, for example. Let's say it's a match, and then I'd look at the profile and be like, well, "Why did I swipe right? I'm too scared to now message him." How do you like? How do you just fucking just send a message? <laughs> what yeah, do you mean too scared to message? How do you just send a message? I feel like I want to. I feel like I want to give you like a cuddle. Or something. <laughs> it <laughs> is really what, sad. What, that's, all scared, someone, so. that's all someone. That's all someone. You just need some intimacy. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I really don't give a fuck. Do you I pretend like it's that. a? Like, let's say. Do you pretend like? The, f the first message that you're sending, do you, do you just pretend that person doesn't have feelings and you're just like fucking full send it, whatever? I, I just, I do things that makes me laugh in my little head. Right, okay. <laughs> so, I'll give you an example. Um, a girl that, um, obviously, now we're back in lockdown, we haven't been, but um, a few times we've met up and had adultery <laughs> time together. <laughs> my first, my first line to her. He's watching this. Will be really bad. My first line to her was, um, "YouTube sensation Tom Syndicate told me I had a small penis." Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to find out? And she found it funny. And then I made a few myth buff the myth uh, myth buster jokes. And then there we go. How do you? That, I, I really, I really just don't care. Wow. Right? That is hella. If you say, though. if you say hey to them and they don't respond, that's the exact same as you <coughs> saying something fucking grim and then not responding. Yeah, fair enough. Right. Yeah, it's full send it. To yeah. be fair, to be fair, that's actually the perfect. The Tom Syndicate one is kind of the perfect line to send as well because you're literally telling her you've got a small cock. So yeah. she, when you sleep yeah. with her, oh, if, you, if you sleep oh. with her and she finds out it's it. true. You, she can't complain because she knew you. Well, that's her. the thing. That's the thing. Any single woman out there, um, I'm not, you know, I'm not fully packing. But I always <laughs> make jokes about it because I can't, I can't, um, you know, I can't. You, you just make jokes. It's just funny. It's just... <laughs> it, it is funny you say that because I hear you say all the time. Like I'm not not sound like a cunt here, but I'm sounding like a cunt. You always say, "Oh, I've got the biggest cock in the apartment." Matt has got the but Matt like, has got yours... the biggest cock in the apartment. <laughs> you're so open that yours is small. Like you do not give a fuck. I mean, <laughs> to be my, fair though, you have a bit of its power. It's one of those things. Like if people, if my, people my... take the piss out of you, if you just own it, then the, they, then it doesn't affect yeah, you anymore. Yeah, like, if you've got a small cock. That's something a lot of guys would be anxious about if you just make jokes about it and take the piss as well then no one can do that against <laughs> you it's, it's not it's not small it's just not as it's just not no, there's nothing to be ashamed there's nothing to be ashamed of it's it's not, it's you know all these girls all these guys say oh i'm gonna fucking do this with my 12 inch i'm like this i can't i can't do that but what i can do i'll Should try we carry on after this just after the break quickly before the cameras yeah go. <laughs> yeah oh, we'll okay. carry this on uh, catch you after the break guys <laughs> Welcome back to the Pour Out Podcast. This is part two of the George King exclusive. In the first part, George was finally revealing to us virgins his <laughs> Tinder advice. So now we're going to carry on that segment because Sam really needs it right now. I really do. George, <laughs> if you could give three pieces of advice about Tinder to a young virgin like Sam, what would they be? I mean, what I would say to um, well, like I, I just don't, I just ha really don't, I just have a bit of fun with it to be fair. But um, pets in the profile, people like that. Um, right, okay, I'll that down. A, fu a funny bio. 
Um, I'm, I'm just, just getting a just, pen and paper. Hold on a minute. Just, you know, <laughs> it's like imagine you've got a penalty in the World Cup final. Every single time you send that person, like, just fucking go for it, mate. Just, if it misses, right, it, misses. Okay. If it goes in, it goes in. Right, um, so for, you, Sam, for you, Sam, Sam, why don't you read us your bio on Tinder? For you personally, <laughs> Sam, have you got Photoshop? Uh, I, I do, yes. Could you change your hair to brown? <laughs> I feel like that would do wonders. Do you reckon I should do could it? I might do it as a yourself, joke. Could you, make, could you make yourself look like a different human? Because that might help. <laughs> oh my god, that's brutal. Right, brutal. I'll, 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 if you use those, I reckon you'll be alright. You reckon? <laughs> might, might drop us a couple of pictures, mate. <laughs> Just go on George TG's Instagram and save yeah, everything. Yeah. Very that's what I do. Video, actually, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm just. How do you? How do you even get to your Tinder um, bio? Ooh, you go on the app, mate. Yeah, well, I'm. I'd, oh, here we go. George, you have, George, you have to fully show him how the whole thing works. <laughs> there you go. Here you go. This is, this is what my. <laughs> I didn't even time. know my oh, bio was. This. Give, go on, Sam. Give us your bio. This must have been like two years ago. I thought, how are you even supposed to get matches on here? <laughs> that's all oh, I mate, thought. That's, <laughs> mate, that's, oh, even oh. I think that's awful. <laughs> that's oh. weak. That's weak. That, that's literally all I put. <laughs> tell you what, George. Matt. Why don't you get? Why don't you tell him something to change it to, and then let him do it for like a day and see how so, it goes. So, yeah. I mean, oh, I'll okay. cause you a big. But change it to something like I don't know. Um, I'll give you. So my one now is um, I'm a professionally trained chef, so I'll I can cook you any deal you want, any meal you want. That kind of works, but for you it's not true. Another one I've had is <laughs> <laughs> this is a good one. Um, I know, like, Sam, do you have anything cool about you? Um, I mean, if, if no. we can make something up if not, but do you have anything? No, I, right. edit, I edit the poor one out podcast. Yeah, I, I also, I also <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a YouTuber editor. <laughs> that, there I we go. Edit so, for YouTubers. So, <laughs> so maybe something like, I don't know. Um, put, I'm, put, 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 I'm ginger. Come find out if I'm, if I'm a natural redhead. <laughs> also, yeah, I'm ginger gin and full ginger. disappointment. But I'll give you had a clout. <laughs> Hold on, mate. Also, I'm ginger. Oh, yeah. also, That's I'm all ginger. girls want, mate. They want clout. Ginger, full of disappointment. But I'll give you had a clout. Oh, Sam, Sam's new ginger bio. But I can give you hella. Oh, wow, he's, he's <laughs> going for it. Are you, are, you, are you doing it in live? Are you doing it in real time, Sam? I'm doing it in real time, mate. I've just done it. Fine doing it before you forget. Yeah. Fine, fine next week if it works. <clears throat> um, for, right, okay. so the, so I think moving on from that, the kind of uh, maybe this will be Sam's segment next week, but I think what we really want to hear. This is a clip right here. <laughs> there's been some there's been some slander on this podcast from a certain Mr. Stokes about yeah. <laughs> not all um, slander. <laughs> what a bastard! So Jesus Christ. So I think what I think what we really need to hear is George King's worst sex story. Super. So and with 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 that goes another uh, one. Right. Uh, another I think one. George is going to need a few shots for this. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I think we all will. So. Oh. It was, it I don't was, even know which one you're going to tell. It was a cold night. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Get the excuses in. Um, oh, so this is why your penis is small. So, well, I'll, I'll give you three <laughs> titles and you can... Oh, I well, love you. Um, so, um, you, you've got the sex tape. Oh, um, Jesus, you, okay. You've got... Um, oh, there's one where I was spiked. Okay. And okay. Sounds a bit Se- date rapey. Maybe we leave that. No, 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 she didn't, she didn't sex- spike me. But I, somebody else spiked me. But I the sex her. tape, the spike, and what else? Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, fuck it. You can't. Uh, see, yeah, I'll try the sex tape one. That was the worst one. So yeah, let's was, go sex tape. There's a, there's a good title in that. Me and Jacob and we went out and we took someone who me and Matt work with and we're friends with and a girl who previously I have been in fornication with. But she, she, oh. she, she will openly admit to this in front of the whole world. She does. Well, but she slept with you. No, no. <laughs> that she has. No, she won't admit to that. <laughs> no, no, but she will. She has sex. She definitely will. She has sex with a lot of men, and she's very open and proud about it. So we're going out. Sam, and we're going out. Hello. Oh, Sam, <laughs> mate, on sleep. Dro- drop me, uh, drop me her name. Sorry, after this podcast. Yeah, please. I think it'll be better <laughs> if you're on a blind date with her, Sam. Think about it. Ah, okay. <laughs> and so we okay. go out and. Um, I take oh, I didn't work him out at the time, but this guy did. So I take him out and I'm like, right, I'll, I'll use him to get this girl away from me. 
<laughs> so I do. So he's with this girl, and it's just me and Jacob, and we are we're popping the we're popping the the, the drinks back. Like we are properly full sane in it. Um, as I blind swipe on Tinder, so I just and I need to tell when I'm watching something. Um, I used to have my Snapchat on my bio. Big mistake. Never do that, Sam. Okay. And this girl. I did yourself, it. just remove so it, and then bio. she was she <laughs> chatting me up, and then you know, yeah, she was chatting to me, and then she's like, "I'm in Manchester." I'm like, "Where are you?" Gay village. I'm like, "Sweet, me and Jake will go." We went there about half, like half three. We got, we were fucking mortal. I I would love to sit here and say we took drugs. We we were just on alcohol. We we just had so much drink, and it was unbelievable how much drunk we are. Um, yeah, she um she come and me and Jacob were basically falling over each other and she picked me up and she took me home. Um, okay. Jacob didn't stop it. That's how drunk he was. Jeez. And yeah, she took me up the stairs. She fell down the stairs and ripped out my banister. That's oh yeah. my god, <laughs> is that, what? Is that how our banister? That's how the banister broke. <laughs> That's our theory. That's, and then yeah, um, I just love he, how Mike didn't even know this. I'll be I'll be I'll be honest, lads. I'm I'm getting worried about the fact that. It sounds like you still had sex with her that night. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, and I'll be honest with you, it was the most. <laughs> it a lot of di- a lot of really dirty things happened that night. Oh it, my if, god! If I was gonna rate if if she was no, what don't don't finish that sentence. If she no, was, was no, rate. if I was gonna rate, <laughs> no, no, he said rate, rate, rate. Oh, oh, oh god! Oh, god. <laughs> what the fuck! I was gonna say we don't need to do a segment. Which girls would George King rape? Oh my god! <laughs> what, what would you rate her, George? What would you rate her? her oh, her, her out of ten, probably a uh, oh. 0.5. Oh, that's low. That is low. Um, how how good was the sex though? From <laughs> the weird thing is, I was so <laughs> out of it. If it was a really good looking girl, I would be telling this as my best sex story. Oh, okay. <laughs> so she's, she's, yeah. And then yeah, midway through she said record this. So I took a video of her giving me fellatio. Um, so I, I wanted to talk about this just because I think I think everyone deserves to have a chance to talk about things that maybe aren't so easy. <laughs> Stephen's already hit <laughs> the gong before Matt's so, even finished talking. I, 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 yeah, yeah, I just as soon as he starts talking, it's like, right, let's get the shot done oh now. Oh my god. Right, sorry Matt, carry on. What I wanted to say was, George, what's your experience with loss? Now, obviously that can be many things, so it's you know, family, maybe friendships. Um, well, how how is your how is your, you know whether it's losing a girl on Tinder, you know what I mean? It could be, it could be anything. But how um, how do you deal? How, how was your experience with loss? You know how do you how do you deal with it? What, so, what's your emotional reaction to stuff? As you know, man, I'm 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 already like quite open person. I do. So I'm I really I just so like um both both my grandparents on my dad's side are dead, and um I hope I'm allowed to be like this. Um, so when my grand was dying, she had cancer, and it was made very apparent to me that she has this much left. Even when my um, uncle and my mum's side died, it was made very apparent <coughs> they have this much left. And uh, when they die, I'm kind of expecting it. So um, that's how I I kind of get over things before they happen. Like, men, like even when I broke up with my girlfriend, I, I got over it before it even happened. Um, yeah. Could you know whether that's bad or good? Who knows? Um, the one time that really hit me is when my granddad on my dad's side actually died. He had a sudden, sudden, like a sudden heart attack, like bang, dead. And um, I don't know why that. I, I was gonna say like, 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 like you, yeah, you, just, you just went straight into that, then Jesus. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, legit. Yeah, so it was just like you know, dead, and then my dad, my dad rang me as my granddad John died. And my brother said, yeah. Funny joke, um, and they carried on the conversation. Um, literally later, he said, "Yeah, he did actually die. It was just a really sudden heart attack. I had no clue." So when it's like that, um, it just hits me like extremely hard. And I wasn't sad at all up until the funeral, when it yeah. it was kind of like, "Oh shit, it's happened." Cause in my, in my mind, I was like, "Nah, they're, they're still chatting waffle." Yeah, it's gonna be a fucking. I, I was gonna be a joke, but like it's not. And then 
yeah, that was the only time it's really, other than pets, of course, when it really, like, really, really hits me. Yeah. Um, when you were actually there in that position, and you were thinking, to, Ooh. My experience to uh, deal with things like emotion is just literally just sit in my room and just get over it myself. Yeah. Um, I'm not really one for, <clears throat> you know, talking to people. I just sit in the room, just, you know, put, put on some music and just get over it. Yeah. Um, it's, it's probably it's the yeah, worst fun. way to get over it, but I just kind of do it. <laughs> if, it were, yeah. if it works for you, though, I mean, different things work for I mean, people. Yeah, I mean, no, I'd say I'd probably do the same thing. But to be fair, other... Um, other than my mum's side, my family is a very kind of close family. Um, so close, like even me saying that, I'll probably get an angry text, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> like they, we aren't really allowed to talk about things. I mean, my mum's a therapist, so it's kind of you know counterproductive. That, but like my dad's side, like, we're not we're really not allowed to talk. We, we don't talk about things like there's a certain fa member of my family going through something. Yeah. Um, I always say an issue is are they okay? Are they okay? And it was like, don't worry about them. Worry about yourself. So it's kind of like we we aren't we don't really talk about those type, type of things. So I've just been kind of like yeah. trained just to if something happens, you're feeling sad or anxious or whatever, whatever. Just just get on with it. Just sort of deal with it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how I. When you see, go on, Matt. It's funny because often, like, this is obviously in a jokey way, but whenever me and Jacob have something going on, whether it's, like, example, a breakup, or it, whether it's George stealing our pint, George's response to most things is, get over it. <laughs> just as brutal as it is. It is what it, it is, It does get work, over it, and it yeah. does just, like, if anything, you do, do just have to get over it. It is the end of the day. It is the, you know, it's a cruel fact about the world. But George, I can tell that he does strongly like believe that it is just the way you've got to do things. You have just got to get over it and just move on. It's happened, and, like, you yeah. You can see it where it's just been engraved in you from like such a young age. Yeah, yes. even with, the, with your brain so I was just saying, Matt, you just, just get over it, you know. Just yeah. Li yeah. life is literally normal. It's Nothing's changed other than you have your signal now. Just get over it. Yeah. See, that's, you've yeah. said that for years, though, through every like, break of life, yeah. like, well, I've been fucking distraught. And you're just like, just get over it. <laughs> Tweet. And you sound like it. You said, like, you. Sorry, go on, Matt. Sound like a bit of a knob, but like it does work and it makes more sense yeah. than, than crying and fucking like saying, why did, why did she do this? Why did she leave me? Why did she cheat on me? Why this? And you're just like, just literally just get over it. Yeah, got to yeah get over the it. only thing I wish I'd do a bit more is probably talk to people. Like, obviously, the whole get over it, just go sit by yourself, get over it. It, it works to a point, but it doesn't really work past that. It's kind of like putting a plaster on a cut. It works, yeah. but it's not going to heal it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? That's deep. Yeah, good, um, good quote there. Good quote there, actually. Um, I like that. Yeah, I was gonna say to to an extent, like I, I'm a I'm very much so an it is what it is sort of person. Yeah. Um, yeah. but yeah. no, nowhere near as much as you that I respect you for that. You know, yeah. Cheers. Honestly, cheers, mate. It's, yeah. Oh like, no, I, I think. You sorry, know, I just I'm I'm just kind of like <clears throat> yeah, just fucking get on. It's, with it's it. happened. Yeah. What, it's, what? It's, it's, emotions are yeah. like temporary at the end of the day. You know, yeah, no, 100%. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why when it was like, you know, when it was my granddad that, that when it was like, wow, this is it's so I haven't had a chance to get over this. Like, what was happening there? And I remember I was I was completely fine at the funeral, and it was I remember my grand's funeral was quite happy, it was like a celebration, and my grand's funeral was kind of the same. I remember yeah. when I get yeah. when, I, when, I, when I got back, my mum who didn't who wasn't there because you know, her and, my da, uh, her and my dad actually worked together at the time. It was like when I got back, I was like, it, it, everything just hit. Yeah. Straight away. So you can get, you know, get over it is like a thing I do try to do, but in sometimes you do just need to sit down a bit like, right. Sit down and step yeah. back, yeah, yeah. You, I you, you, that. you, this is how I'm feeling, what's going to happen? Yeah. I remember, I remember I was at the pub the one time uh, when we were 16, and you called me to tell me that your cat, which I loved and everyone loved, Bouchard died oh, yeah. and I ran out the pub and I was like shit mate are you okay are you okay and you're like yeah I'm fine I was like you sure and you're like honestly mate I'm fine I was like you mean it and he's like yeah no it's fine it's whatever yeah and like I was I was so sad like George used to have, George used to have to say to me oh Matt don't cry it's fine and I just like, <laughs> George is like it's my it's George is like it's my fucking guy <laughs> to be fair I, I I wasn't fine to be fair like that I was absolutely distraught but I just say yeah I'm fine man don't worry about it and then like, easy I to say you're room. fine yeah. A few hours, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. But yeah, that's how I deal. So, I mean, how I deal with loss. 
on that then, obviously, because you've known Matt for so long now, mm. how much of, obviously it's going into your room and just and getting over it by yourself, how much, how has being mates with Matt kind of, this is just going to be an ego boost for Matt, if anything, but <laughs> how has being, how how being mates with Matt kind of always let you be able to do that? So obviously if you're with a certain friendship group, There'll be the kind of I've, I know I've got friends who are like, oh, you, you need to talk about shit. Come on, let's talk. And it's like, no, fuck off. People have got their own ways to deal with shit. Yeah, very yeah. much. Yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah, I can hear someone on the, on the, opening the bottle. <laughs> Sorry, that's me. So we'll go. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's me. Yeah. I opened the core of my box, mate. Oh, yeah. He loves it. He loves it. <laughs> Sorry, so carry I, on, Stephen. Yeah, what was that question, Stephen? Like the actual question. Do you want me to word it like oh. the way that I wanted to in in the? In yeah, the yeah, 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 go, yeah. Go on, Mark. <laughs> want to do a smooth segue? <laughs> no, no, it's good. It's good. Um, so I've always wondered this, and I'm I'm very. I've, it's taken me a long time to be open about this sort of thing now, but mm. obviously I've had lots of a few, I two sort of big moments in my life where I've lost all my friends for you know rightfully my my reasons whatever. And you know, I've I've fallen unbelievably low. And something I've always wondered, and I do generally wonder this, even though I see you every single day, every minute of every day, is what? Why did you give up all your friendships, especially in school mm. and college, and stuck with me? Like even when I did things that wasn't right, what what was it that made you want to stay with me? So, I uh, I knew this. I, I had a feeling this question was going to come when you come, <laughs> and I can I I don't. I still don't really know the answer. What I would say is, um, <laughs> when obviously first in school, um, the way I looked yeah. at it anyway, what well, I what I looked at, at the time was they're lying. Matt wouldn't do something like, oh, they're lying. Matt wouldn't probably do something like that. You know, it is what it is. Yeah. And I didn't really um, lose. I didn't really say to them, you know, this is over. I'm not friends with you guys anymore. And it was kind of like they said either pick Matt or pick us and I was like can I have both is this not a, is that not like what can I just stay on the phone yeah. like, no, no no pick Matt or pick us I was like okay um, well I don't know the answer but my philosophy is when someone tells you to get rid of a friend always stay with the person who doesn't ask that cause that's quite a bad thing to ask um, that's interesting yeah. I, I had no clue what came on then I found out what actually happened and um, what the way I look at it now is Obviously, you were in the time of um, these motivational things and this, that, and the other. All these big things happening. And the way I like to think of it, it's kind of like um, if you fall from one meter and hit the ground floor, you're going to be fine. Um, and because we had a lot of people in our, in our school making the same mistakes as you did, but being complete open about it and just, yeah, yeah, this happened, this happened, this happened. But yeah. you doing this, the YouTube stuff that he was doing kind of got you like it got you like 20 20 30 meters up so when you fell from that it, it hurt a lot more because it's kind of like yeah. everyone wants to everyone wants to tear down the person at the top and stuff clone up themselves so i was like right let 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 kill him and then um because i wasn't really i was good friends with you at school like yeah you know, i was just what you were still you know the best friend in school but i had a lot of other friends as well yeah i kind of yeah, like yeah, just yeah. bounced between different groups so you did, yeah, yeah. For, for me, the main decision was right, let's just stay friends with everyone. Um, yeah, I did that. Uh, in, I did the exact same thing in college, but in college, obviously, yeah, um, the, the people were a bit more mature. So when I said, right, I'm, 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 don't get me involved. I'm still friends with, well, probably yeah. Well, my, my two other best friends are still from college. So it's yeah. kind of like the reason I just stuck by because. We're 16, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. The amount of dumb shit we do when we're 16, it's kind of like, you know. <laughs> the amount of dumb shit you do now. Yeah, exa <laughs> I don't know, exactly. The amount of dumb shit we do when we're 16, it's like, is there any point, you know, crying over, like, literally get over it. It's happened. Go, get, just yeah. get the fuck over it. Um, and uh, in school, I was probably a bit more influenced than I am now. Like, opinion stuff, I was really quite influenced. And, I I was shocked myself when I was like, no, I'll back my on this. I was shocked myself. I was like, wow, have I just done that? 
But yeah, um, it, it certainly cost me a lot of friends. But, you know, a lot of friends who aren't really your friends for what, for, you know, a best mate who you end up living together, I think that's quite a fair trade. So. I think I think what it is as well, like you'd rather have like I, I'm gonna try and someone Americanize this term, but I'm gonna try and make it British. It's like mm. you'd rather have two <laughs> fifty pence. <laughs> you'd rather have two fifty pence pieces than one hundred pennies any day of the week. And you yeah. could have that with friends. Exactly. Like you could have, yeah. you could have two friends. <laughs> you'd rather have two good friends rather than one hundred people that you know. Yeah, I like that. <clears throat> I like I like how it, that does not sound as cool when you say one hundred pennies. No, right, okay. The 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 American one sounds is sounds cool when someone else puts Sam Briggs. The American is, is um, I'd rather have four <laughs> um, I'd rather have four quarters over a hundred cents or something like that. It is. I can't remember yeah, what it is, yeah, but yeah. yeah, it sounds so much yeah. better. <laughs> um, but I, I, I had to British, you know, make it British. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, that is kind of like you know why. I just kind of want to be friends with everyone at the end of the day and when it was like the option of this or that, it was like well, I do I want both and then yeah. when it comes down to, you know, you, no, 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 you need to choose, it's kind of like whoever's making me choose, that's the one that's going. That's like yeah. when it happening, you know, um, similar thing happened in college as well and um, you or and as, as you Matt or the other people involved never went said it's us or that it's us or him so no of course that was, yeah, yeah. Cause that, that's a big thing for me you know, you, I don't really like when someone tries to make your decisions for you and yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, obviously I knew in you know in school my decisions were I've said like I said about climbing the ladder earlier you, you do definitely want to climb the ladder but um, there's some steps you just, you know, some steps that just aren't worth taking. That was, that was one of them. Whether, you know, you know, whether what happened happened or how much of it was true, how little it was true, it doesn't really matter. You know, you were friends with everyone and the way they reacted to this day, I will say, was, was bad. The, the way they reacted. Yeah. And... Um, even you know, they they say it. Um, I, I think I told you something. That I met with a guy. Well, a few guys from our school actually go to Manchester University. So I've seen them, and they're just like, yeah, we were sixteen. It was six. We were all sixteen. It was dumb. So let's just move on. And that's probably yeah. the best way to be. Literally, um, on, <laughs> just yeah. get over it. Yeah. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> Back onto that one. <laughs> sixteen. Get over it. So yeah, I think that brings us on nicely to our final topic of the episode, actually. Um, if you could actually like change one thing in your life right now, um, what would it actually be? Oh, was that the shot going right there? <laughs> yeah, it was. It certainly was. Final shot of the episode, boys. Yeah, we final go. shot of the episode, boys. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Don't you do one. Mm. Don't you do one as a send-off? Oh. Just for you, George. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. do another one just for George. Woo. Yeah, at the end of the episode, we will. Last yeah. one. Sorry, Sam, mate. What was the, what Sorry, was I said if you could change one thing of your life right now, what would it be? And we're, talk, we're, um, talk, we're talking big thing, not just extra matches on Tinder. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Tinder gold. Um, <laughs> yeah, make, make, make your favourite football club uh, actually win in a match. <laughs> Tinder, Tinder gold is a yeah, discount. There's a few girls <laughs> and a few girls in the club I next one with. I wish I'd take them. To be fair. Um, you might not even have anything, to be fair. You don't have uh, to have something. No, I, well... <laughs> I um, hope so, because we're going to ask this question to every yeah. single guest we have on. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the bi the business me and Matt work in, we do a lot of goal yeah. setting. Yeah, okay. And a lot of like, mindset thinking. And one of the things I, am, I, I do really want to do, I'm nowhere near there yet, but I do kind of want to get there, is just kind of talking a little bit more. Like you heard me say earlier, just like get over it attitude, which is okay, but it does not always work, especially when, you know, especially when there's things that need to be discussed. Yeah. So one regret, well, one thing I could change is just talking about Being a bit more things. open with yeah. your own emotions. That was, yeah. That's what you mean, yeah. Because I'm, I'm very open with everything, but the moment I'm feeling a little bit bad or whatever, yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. 
like when Matt obviously Matt's been through this breakup, I'm in his room like a few times there, like Matt, you okay, do you wanna do something? And then well I'm feeling bad, I'm just like I'm just gonna knock myself in my yeah. room. No one's gonna come in, everyone comes in, I'll time to get out. <laughs> yeah. Literally, fuck off. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Matt, 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 come to my room. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fair play. Yeah, so like, be, just being a bit more open with everybody George, in general. George, George, what, George, why are you listening to Numb by Linkin Park? <laughs> Shut up, get out of my room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? Well, what? Why I'm watching a fucking UFC fight that I've seen a thousand times before? What, fuck off, Matt. I'm watching a fight. That's true. You're um, always watching fucking UFC. Yeah. <laughs> You know, do you know what? Um, as I joined this Discord call, I said, "Right, I'm going to pause this. I'm watching. You're actually watching, I'm watching the watching UFC. The UFC 258, Usman vs. Kobe. For fuck's fight. sake. Um, I'm, I'm, always, I'm always watching yeah. the UFC. I'm, I'm literally obsessed with it, yeah. Ah, fair play. Uh, so that's um, yeah, one that's, thing you change is opening up. Change, that's good. Yeah. Probably be a bit more open. I feel I like, like how, the, uh, I look, to be fair, I, re- I really like how deep you went with that because I, like I my, my, mm. my, uh, honestly, my, my first thought was something like uh, make working visas to LA a lot easier to get. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say, if, 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 you know, obviously, Sam, whoever heard it is here, but the vodka was full at the top of this episode. It is. About half gone. Cause I've also been drinking vodka lemonade. Really, so. <laughs> that's probably why, Stephen. That's probably why, mate. <laughs> that's what we like. Though. That's what we want. Vodka's fully. Hip yeah, hip no, hip. that's what we get. Like, I, I'm only on this hour, so it's not actually that bad for me. But I am still a bit like, you know, like we've had. Well, I've had probably half a bottle of sours, you know. Um, wow. George, you're about to experience what I experience every fucking Saturday. We finish recording at like 3 p.m. and then I'm smashed all afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, when, when we did when we did it last week or the weekend before, I was fucking destroyed. It literally cost me. Oh, when you did, yeah. the, um, <laughs> you know what I'm going to say. I'm not going to say it. God, yes. Yeah. Oh, oh god, oh god, yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. <laughs> Can I just, um, you know, clear up a few of these slanderous oh, things? Yeah. Of course, you can. Go oh, ahead, mate. No. Is that a shotgun? Uh, yeah, it can uh, be. You know what? Yeah, yeah. It can be. We also said we'd do one to sign off, so let's have <laughs> like two more, boys. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so. So, um, I've heard a few storylines in this podcast. Um, oh, no. People watching this, seeing how fucked I'm right now, they'll think, yes, that's <laughs> true. But our lovely neighbours over the road text me saying, wow, you just, you... Do you guys remember that Birmingham story Matt told you? I about? do. Yeah, so that, I got a few messages like, wow, you just you know, did this to <laughs> I just want to say, she was my girlfriend for a year. I did not leave her. I was my girlfriend. Oh shit, sorry. This is my shot. <laughs> I was like that. She was my girlfriend for a year. Um, yeah. I didn't just so you didn't know, just leave. Her. On, okay. You know, how 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 do we say this? Exfoliate into a woman and run off. <laughs> um, right, hang on. So was, was she your girlfriend story. before or after? Oh, no, no, after. after. <laughs> right, right. Okay, so that so that things that thing still did happen. It's just you got with her afterwards. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> after that, after I was there supportive. You know, support, like a supportive. <laughs> Wait, man. when you did it though, right? That story Jeez. does not change whatsoever. <laughs> it's just that you also got in a relationship with her afterwards. <laughs> Yeah, but it sounds—it sounds, it it, sounds bad without the. It sounds like it's a one night stand. It sounds like it's a one night stand. I just left yeah. to do it. But um, yeah, I did. You know, I messed her, and you know, a few months later, she said, "Oh yeah, I had a pregnancy scare about that night, but it didn't. It wasn't actually oh a pregnancy scare." And I was like, "Ha, that's funny." Funny. <laughs> um, I didn't think I was yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, it was a few months later, so obviously she wasn't. <laughs> you said you said but, um, earlier, George, you've got a story to tell about our, our holiday. Do you want to tell that as well, while we're here? Cause I'm enjoying. Yeah, that'll be that'll be off right yeah. my side. So, well. um, oh, it was well. I mean, in that in that in that case, that's oh fuck's sake. <laughs> No, can we have this as our sign-off Fuck. one, please? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 we're just fucking, this is going to be, we're cramming, <laughs> we're cramming in as many now as we did in the first half of the show. Oh. Do you remember I said half a bottle of vodka left? Now? <laughs> How <laughs> big are your shots? <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Pine glasses. <laughs> I'm, I'm drinking vodka lemonade on the side. <laughs> so... He was here at the time, me and Matt Stokes. Oh no! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! That response can only be 
me we have to hear it. And oh, that, no. is, that is yeah. definitely a clip. So, oh, fuck. <laughs> so, um... Me and Matt, we was on holiday with our two friends, Dan and Zach. Um, I said their names because they're not involved with this. <laughs> and we got these like tokens to a club called Toga Toga. Toga Toga and I and Appa. I remember you and I love you. Um, so I'm like, Matt, I'm like, Matt, let's fucking go. Matt's like, oh, I'm like, Matt, let's fucking go, <laughs> mate. Let's just go tear it up, see what happens. So Matt's there like, a sh he's shaking like a scared little fucking dog. I'm like, come on, Matt, come on. We get in this, we get in, I remember, I don't know how I remember this, but it's a Mercedes taxi, and this guy says, George, do you have your seatbelt on? And I was like, he knew his know? fucking name. <laughs> this is, what? This, this, this is paid, this is paid in cash. So I'm like, oh, mate, we're, we're getting <laughs> murdered and robbed. So we get, but yeah, luckily he takes us to the strip club. So we get there. I'm like, okay, man. We go in, and there's two girlfriends. Um, uh, when, when I was in college, I was falling around with a girl, and the stripper had the same name. Oh, so, yeah, so I forgot about that. She I goes, she goes oh, my, she says, my name. Oh, I can see a kind of Dr. Pepper on my desk. I will call her Pepper. She goes, oh, my name's Pepper. I'm like, hello, Pepper. Matt's got a girl on him as well. I'm, but Matt looks fucking <laughs> terrified. <laughs> I'm like, right then, Matt, see you later. I'm off for a dance. I'll pay 20 euros, and then I up, I swear to God, she necked on with me. A lot of tit and mouth action, <laughs> and I was like, "This, this is twenty lot. euros <laughs> down." She tried to get me to spend four hundred and twenty-five euros to take her upstairs and fuck her with a bottle of champagne. Fuck her, and fuck her with the champagne. champagne. No, I said, "What champagne is it?" She goes, "Does not matter?" <laughs> yeah, <what's> yeah. <laughs> um, I, if it's crystal, I'll pay. For some reason, I, 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 I don't know why it's happened, but for some reason, me and Stokesy. Uh, Matt, it is true. Uh, tell me if it's not if it's not true. Me, me and Matt um, put our money into a savings account out of our yeah. card's name. But we did that because I, I had a feeling they was going to make us buy things. So my card got declined because I had zero George. pounds in it. <laughs> and then, oh, that's so sad. He knew he was going to go to a strip club so he put it in a savings. He just knew he was going to do it. Uh, All my money was in my savings. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm not buying this. So he had 15 minutes for 125. He got declined. Oh. So, uh, yeah, I got there, I see Matt in the corner just sat there rocking back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> Shit himself. <laughs> he goes, yeah, she, she kept rubbing my cock, but I didn't want to dance. I'm like, why do you want to dance? He was like, oh, I didn't want to dance. <laughs> I'm just scared. I'm like, oh, Matt, don't be scared. Oh, Matt. And yeah, as we left, this big, you know, uh, this big guy, he was um, dark-faced, and he grabbed me by the shoulder, and he pulled me around, I was like, Oh, the bouncer too. grabbed George. Oh I'm, my god. I'm gonna get destroyed here. <laughs> and he goes, You, you, you free entry for life. I'm like, no! <laughs> What? I'm like, Yeah! I free could entry! Not it. I could not fucking believe it. I was <laughs> <Why> absolutely <laughs> petrified. He's <laughs> like, Free entry for life. I'm like, Bang, Charlie. That's mental. I was shitting yeah, myself. Yeah, I bet. I was like, free entry for life, free entry for life. Why, why like, did you get free entry for life? We what have no you idea. I don't really know, have no idea. I have no idea. You paid 20 euros no for idea, some mate. <laughs> no idea, mate. But I've got free entry for life, so. Toga Tiger. Toga Tiger, Iron Apple, if you're listening. I think, I'll, I'll I think the, moral, I think the moral of the story is Iron Apple this summer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would happily go yeah. back. The moment, the moment COVID is like kind of lifted a bit in Napa, I'm off, mate. <laughs> I mean, I mean, uh, I'm off. Go I mean, to, let's go back to Togo Togo. Uh, let's not mess about. We've, it, already, we've yeah. already got Magaluf booked. Well, <laughs> no, nah, we'll go. We'll go. Napa. We'll chuck a few grand down to get some strippers. <laughs> yeah, I forgot it's, about that it, story. It's I forgot forward. about that. And I think, um, I think, guys, on that note, I think it wraps it up. the girlfriend, well. no, no, no other slander, slander. So that's over all the slander that you've got off your chest now. Everything else was true. Everything he said is kind of <laughs> okay. true. I mean, I mean, Syndicate did see my dick and he did tell me it was small, which I will agree I'm, with. Fair <laughs> place. No, well, not yet. And not, Please not yet. And, and, on, and, on that, and on that bombshell, I think we, we said we were going to do a sign-off shot as well. So yeah, this is for you, George. Is that this true? is just no, for you, mate. It, is that no, true? no, 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 just one, one. just one. The sign-off shot. So, uh, but I mean, I think that's the perfect time to call to to end the episode. If, if yeah, 
this has been um, a brilliant first guest. I generally think it's going to take a lot to top this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. they did fantastic. This. I, I did two shots for a size episode. Like, Fair enough, mate. Probably. Fair enough. You, you done the whole ball if you want. No, don't do that. Please don't <laughs> do that. <laughs> I mean, I'll show the camera with the bottle. The bottle's up to the <laughs> So, it, 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 it's going, <laughs> slowly but surely. <laughs> but yeah, it's been lovely speaking to you anyway, mate. Um, and hopefully you can keep to your uh, thing that you want to change about yourself anyway. It's quite interesting, that one. And hopefully you can keep smashing Tinder. <laughs> yeah, 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 hopefully. Well, yeah. We'll, we'll find out next well, week. Now, if, now, uh, now I'm, I just want to say I'm legit a vegan, so now I'm a vegan, all the vegan girls, I'm matching with them, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting in there. But, Fair play. I'm already doing this if Jacob stops turning up while stealing his chicken. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't even yeah, I could not believe it. He's fully turned vegan. That's mad. Mm. Anyway, guys, yeah, um, Stephen, you always do the outro. I'll let you roll on with that one, mate. All right. Um, well, yeah, if you enjoyed this episode that we upload, we make episodes every single Wednesday in clips every now and again whenever I remember to upload them. <laughs> uh, so... <laughs> Uh, our socials are on screen now and you can check us out on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, anywhere you get your podcasts. Um, and yeah, I mean, George, if you want to go follow George's Twitter, then be advised, but it'll be in the link down below. <laughs> um, if you follow my Instagram, man, you're a pretty girl. I'll probably message you. Put my Instagram in there as well. I don't, think any, I, don't, I don't think any girls watch this podcast. Yeah, I think it's just guys. <laughs> Uh, well, maybe, maybe <laughs> any guys, if you know pretty girls, <laughs> <that's not laughs> right. I, you know what? Any girls. To be mean. fair, I think the only to, to be fair, I think the only girl that was going to watch this podcast probably switched off after the first three minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. The only remaining people are fucking lads. Yeah, they uh, love the it. Only, the other remaining person is Jordy Fox. <laughs> Good lad, Jordy top lad. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, Stephen. Um, a quick question for you. Have you ever had sex? <laughs> Hopefully, wh- why do you think I'm doing this podcast, George? Hopefully it'll get me there one day. <laughs> because it, to you, does sex count as a sex or with... <laughs> I don't know. Hold oh, on, no, no, no. we'll see you next Wednesday. See you next guys. Um, please do that in. I'll be telling Matt we are going to say that. Please do that in. Mate, I'm keeping it in. I'm keeping it in. This is my power constructor, Captain Cuddles. She's about to shed, probably a few days off. But you're cool, aren't you? Mwah.